Well, a Houston attorney has been identified as the Good Samaritan who was shot to death at a McDonald's in West Houston over the weekend. Fox 26's Domley Key joining us there live off of I-10 near Chimney Rock. Domley. Yeah, Houston lawyer Jeff Lemmer was said to stand up for what's right. And that's exactly what Houston police investigators say Lemmer was doing here at this McDonald's on Saturday when we're told an angry fellow McDonald's customer took Lemmer's life. It was an awful murder scene here at McDonald's on the Katy Freeway that Greg Monteverde actually drove right by, but he had no idea the victim was his longtime friend, Jeffrey Lemmer, who he's known since they were nine years old. It's a gut punch. It's a, it's a deep gut punch. I think uh, I know a lot of us are still in shock. Monteverde and Lemmer played football together at... Yo, man, white people are being... Their lives don't matter, man. People are, white people are getting knocked off. And here's the thing. Black, when black people get killed, it's different because there's so much violence in black communities. There's like, black people are like savages. We're like wild animals. These white people that come in contact with POCs or black people that get killed, they aren't, their, their areas are not savage, wild places. They just happen to come in contact with a Mexican or a black person, cross paths with them, and get killed. So it's actually more tragic when that happens to them. And I get the whole thing where they voted for it and shit like that and blah, say, blah, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, black people are resigned to that. They don't care about their neighborhoods. We don't care if we live in a city where 700 people were killed every one of the last 10 years. White people don't live like that. Why is that? In fact, they were again DNA. DNA talking about football the last time they spoke. He was very proud of his cousin who just got drafted by the Rams. That was uh, <clears throat> our last conversation about a week ago. He was pretty excited about that. According to Houston Police Limmer, a Houston attorney seen here on his firm's webpage was at this McDonald's on I-10 at Chimney Rock Saturday around 6 p.m. when another man became irate at the workers. You'd like Listen, let me tell you something. If you're in a restaurant and someone gets irate at the workers, man, that's none of your business. I would personally leave. I would suggest you leave. And if you're with a woman and she tries to act like she's going to interject into it, you grab her by her arm and you squeeze it and you look her in the face and you just give her the shut the fuck up sign. Like that ain't none of your business. Those fucking little fucking McDonald's workers back there, that's their problem. That's their problem. They hate you. If you're white, if you're white, and you go to a McDonald's in a black neighborhood, chat, what's the chance that all the little Boone Chiquas and Marquavius is behind the counter fucking hate your guts just because you're white? What's the percentage? What's the odds that every fucking Boone Chica and Quantrell behind that counter hates your fucking guts just because you're white and thinks you have some kind of privilege that you don't deserve and that you're responsible for their lot in life. Whatever those boom sheikwas and quantrellius were going through <laughs> behind that counter, that shit ain't have nothing to do with this white man. That was none of his fucking business. Helping a bunch of people that fucking hate your guts. 
web page was at this McDonald's on I-10 at Chimney Rock Saturday around 6 p.m. when another man became irate at the workers. Utilizing curse words and, and other profanities where Jeff stepped in to try and de-escalate the situation, try and calm them down, and that led to a fight. Investigators say the angry McDonald's customer grabbed a gun from his car and opened fire on 46-year-old Jeffrey Lemmer, killing him. He doesn't have it. He's, yeah, he's looking down on all of us, saying it's going to be okay, I'm good. Hey, it's not going to be okay. I don't hear it's going to be okay. It's not okay, man. Monteverde says Limmer was strong in his faith. The two men have attended the same church since they were children, and Monteverde says his heart goes out to Limmer's family. Now, Houston police investigators say the shooter hasn't been caught yet. In fact, he drove away from this McDonald's on Saturday in a blue Ford pickup truck. If you have any information... A blue Ford pickup truck? Hey, man, a work truck? Hey, we might... This might be an old burrito or a fucking glider, man. A Tundra, a F-1, a F-1500. That's a, that's a, the sun, man, I don't know. This might be a glider, man. Tonight, we're learning about the attorney who was shot and killed while trying to calm down an angry customer at McDonald's. It happened this weekend at the restaurant off Katy Freeway in Chip. Hey, Dave, who are you, Dave? Who are you, man? I, I don't know you. Dave, Dave, go on once. Dave, go what's on going on? What's yeah, going what's on? Not, not too much. I've been here before. It was a little while ago. I've just been um, staying busy and not been on the internet too much anymore, but I just got back to right now. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts, man? I think it's the same thing. I think this is on repeat, and I think it's it's pretty much a perpetual cycle, a perpetual detrimental cycle, or a perpetual vicious cycle at this point. I don't really see. It's definitely going to get worse before it gets better, and I don't know if it's necessarily going to get better. It it's can't get better. How do you put the toothpaste back in the tube? You can't. You can't. But the the whole thing is just in a broad sense there needs to be a very the culture just a broad general culture we know culture in particular needs a complete 180 right now this is this is very tricky right this is like generational and shit so you know mm. Generations of allowed ignorance. Tonight, his sister is only <laughs> talking with us here at ABC 13. And our Brooke Taylor is live outside the McDonald's with their conversation. Brooke. Police tell me that the shooter was inside of this McDonald's. He was angry with employees, demanding a refund because something was wrong with his order. A witness tried stepping in, the victim there, trying to calm things down. Eventually, detectives say the both of them were outside. There was a heated argument, and that's when the customer went in his car. He grabbed his gun, shot him, and drove off. A flag flown at half staff outside of the McDonald's where local attorney Jeff Limmer lost his life. He loved fiercely. He loved his family and his friends. Always laughing, always making jokes and just loving life. His sister tells only 13 she was at her daughter's graduation with her parents when they got the devastating news. He had um, gone on over there. I guess he um, goes over there frequently. He lives pretty close by and... Um, you know, just went over there to maybe get some work done. And um, this, this situation happened where this guy was so displeased with his order that he just threw a fit. According to detectives, Limmer was at the McDonald's off of I-10 near Chimney Rock Road when he was trying to calm down an angry customer, upset with employees about his order. Limmer is an associate at a local law firm, and his sister says he spent his career trying to help others. So it didn't come as a surprise when detectives told them that's what he was doing in his final moments. Knowing Jeff, I mean, he's just, he's the one that's going to just, he's always the one that's like, calm down, it's not that big of a deal, um, and just, I guess. Should have minded his fucking business, man. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet it's a big fucking deal to him now. Huge deal, man. 
fuck, man? Some fucking guy. I, we don't know. He this guy fled in a in a in a in a, in a, in a, in a blue Ford work truck, man. Well, and then the guy, old go ahead. The old lady said something weird. He went over there to get some work. So did he work at the McDonald's? Well, he might have been like I used to go to Starbucks or Panera to, to work on my um blog when I had my blog. People work at these places. Like they use the Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and they work, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He may have been working on some paperwork or something or some lawyer shit. My you country has I ignorance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to do this. I used to do this type of shit. Like you just, just go to different spots and like study to work or whatever. I would never intervene in pretty much anything. It's not because I'm afraid. It's because of the wacky laws in so many of these big cities. I think you should be afraid. There's nothing wrong with being afraid, man. Listen, man. I understand. I understand. If the sun, I understand. Man, if the sun man is acting like crazy and shit in public right. and shit. Right. There's there's nothing wrong with being afraid, man. Because fear, fear protects you. Fear is a natural thing. Like fear is not like a bad thing. Fear, fear tells you like, yo, don't do that. Like, yeah, it's your body, it's your, it's your brain saying, hey, man, nah, man. <laughs> well, well, let me ask you, Ed, let me ask you, because uh, I think of it a little bit different. I mean, you don't, you don't think because you can just go about things being just being, you know, smart, just being smart about things, right? Like you can say, I'm not going to get in this fight because either I'm going to get my ass whooped or, you know, just the repercussions following it. Right. And not, not necessarily being afraid of it more so than it's just being smart about the situation. Now they can both see, be seen as the same thing, I suppose. But you know what I mean? Or the motherfucker will kill your ass. What are you talking about? The replications following it, dude. The Basically, if you're killing your ass during it, not following no, it. No facts. I'm saying if you get in a situation where you get in an altercation for whatever reason and y'all both come out OK, but say your employer finds out or whatever, say you get arrested. That's what I mean by the byproducts of a, of a situation like that. Um, it's just never worth it. I promise you. Know, is, is if, if you make it out of the situation, mm -hmm. you're, you're, you, that was a great thing. I don't think you worry about what happens after if you're still alive. After you intervene with some crazy ass fucking sun turd and McDonald's, <laughs> no right facts behind the counter. If you intervene in that and you're still alive, who gives a fuck what happens after that? If you get in trouble with your boss or not, you won. Very true. Very true. I was I was speaking more in general, but with with us, yeah, it's a little bit different. And it's know? just like you said, it's the yeah, best of us being murdered by the worst of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm divert the situation he's always just wanted to um fight for the little guy and um do the right thing and um just and he was very staunch in his um convictions and um was just conservative in his values and his morals Conservative. Police are searching for the killer who they say drove off in an early 2000s blue Ford pickup. As Limmer's family awaits justice, his sister says they're proud that he stood up for what he believed was right. Oh, good Samaritan. You're proud? Nah. Nah. There's nothing to be proud about, man. There they go. There's nothing there they go. to be proud about. Right. What are you proud about? Um, salute to um, Bo Brown, 1313, on Rumble. Shout out to Bo Brown 1313. He says, Thanks for doing the Rumble streams. Free speech creates better content. YouTube sucks as Americans. We shouldn't have to deal with that BS. Yeah, listen, I'm simultaneously streaming on YouTube right now. That's why I haven't showed y'all. Hey, you got to mute yourself, man. Um, Dave, whoever that is. Um, uh, when you're not talking, man, you mute yourself, man. Um, I'm about to t I'm about to switch to Rumble only so I can show you guys the real shit, man. But yeah, I'm simultaneously streaming on Oc Nation Gold on YouTube. But yeah, I do need to switch to um, Rumble only so that we can um, get into the real real shit. You feel me? Um, talk about the real shit. Salute to you, Bo Brown, man. Um, shout out to Bo Brown, man. Um, he's absolutely right. Yeah. Samaritan who's trying to do the right thing, um, and just not letting, 
you know, those employees at McDonald's um, have to go through that. Yeah, but it cost him his life. He was a he was a very successful man. This shit wasn't no this shit wasn't worth it. They trying I guess they're coping. They're coping, you know what I'm saying? That's that's cope. That shit wasn't worth it, man. That shit was fucking No, they're trying to that they're hanging their their virtue on that he died virtuously. Correct. Yo, that shit was that was a sad way to go out, man. It was just just a bad, bad way, man. Like 